Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's definitive edition of The Walking Dead. This is the final season, episode two. And before we jump into it, two quick reminders for you. First, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down there below. It's Ring the notification bell, that way you know whenever I upload a video, because that's the, probably the only way you'll know. Secondly, remember that you, yes, you, you're an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump into this and see what's going on with this game, shall we? They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them and won, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, look out. Ah, oh, shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. Hide, now! Omar, I got him. AJ, hide! Come on! I, I know who I am. No! Open up, kid! This doesn't have to get any uglier! My bow! Go! Go. I'll be all right. Don't have much time. Go. So there's a sniper up in the tree. One, two, three. F I can okay. see at least four. Just try not to move or make noise. Yeah, it's four plus the one up in the tree. What the fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Oh, they are. Yes, they took this seriously. Spread out. to play Lily! move and I'll shoot you won't get the chance where's our new recruits they're not yours search the yard Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you, and your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me, just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, 
I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back oh, here. Oh, my contacts are bothering me. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. Welcome to the power of a panic horse. Mitch, you are an idiot. God damn it. You don't ever scream when you charge somebody, you moron. Why are you not letting me aim at the head? Follow them! Like seriously, it's not the way I would have done it, but all right, sure. I would have taken the sniper first and honestly, I should have taken a kill shot. Oh, hi Abel, how are you buddy? And your gimpy friend. It's too bad we couldn't rig the chandeliers to drop. That'd be fun. Oh! Killed that one, the girl. That was a nicely placed trap. Jump kick. Well, that's not the way I wanted that to go. Shit. 
This should be easy. Mm. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. Oh, let me kick him. Where's his head at? There you go. Bust his face up. Yes! Let Rosie after him. Let me give me the angle. Let me shoot. Okay, now you're going to give me the option to start shooting it. Let's see. I hear more. No. Turning so slow. God, I hate how slow the mouse cursor is. Oh. So they got Lewis, and it's clear he had at least one other person. Mitch died, which is terrible. I mean, it was kind of his own fault for being an idiot and screaming as he charged at somebody. Wow, an arrow straight down the throat. Clem, I, I'm sorry for trusting her. It's okay, bud. You wanted to get your sisters back. I understand it. They took them. Sim and Omar and... God damn it, Lewis! I know. Sim and Omar. The other two that got snatched. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Yeah, they forgot to take their boy. Hi. You're tied to a pole with the one arm's missing and the other one's pretty bangled after a very, very large dog chewed on it. We're going to play a game of 20 questions. You are not going to like the, how it goes. Nope. 
So I am muting the game audio because it. I guarantee you this song is copyrighted and I'm not getting hit with that, so. All right, you and 64% of players told AJ to keep his gun. 33% gave AJ's gun to Lewis. 1% didn't intervene when AJ insisted on keeping the gun. 2% said nothing when AJ insisted on giving Lewis his gun. Huh, interesting. So depending on how things have gone with him, if you stay out of it, AJ can actually make his own decision on it. Interesting. 50% told Violet to shoot Lily and got Lewis shot. 50%, well, okay, yeah. It's 50-50 there. 93% of players spared the walker, honoring James' request. 6% killed the walker. 2% let James throw the rock to destroy the to distract the walker. Okay. 57% spent time stargazing with Violet, while 43% helped Lewis tune the piano. Okay. 53% rescued Violet instead of Lewis. Okay. That kind of lines up with the last one. So this is just all of those in one screen. 69% of players left AJ feeling repentant. He was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He was resigned after you didn't give him dibs on killing Abel. Left Violet feeling vengeful. She was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school and she was touched when you described her as a close friend. Okay. I was actually really worried about this. Like, I was thinking she was going to be pissed because I didn't choose the romance option. Mitch is dead. He was surprised when you admitted AJ was wrong to kill Marlon. Irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. Abel has been captured. He was outraged when you told Violet to shoot Lily impressed when you taunted Lily with shooting you. Fair enough. 85% players allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. He was comforted when you said you were sorry you and AJ hurt him. Felt discouraged when you chose to spend time with Violet instead of him. Felt discarded when you let the Raiders take him. Well, I'm sorry, dude, but the game won't let me shoot arrows fast enough. 56% of players left Lily feeling unconvinced. She gratified that you remembered her, but bitter when you refused to help her stand. Oh no, when you refused her help to stand. That's right, she tried to help you up. Got it. 59% left 10 feeling despondent. Felt embarrassed when you pointed out there are no more courtrooms. Felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker age will end someday. 90% left Ruby feeling grateful. Okay, cool. Distraught when AJ took responsibility for killing Marlon, but consoled when you expressed sympathy over finding the school nurse. All right. 70% of players left James feeling appreciative. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you were originally from Georgia. State of the school. Omar has been kidnapped. Rosie was loyal to you after you petted her in the courtyard. Rock on. Having a dog as big as Rosie on your side is never a bad thing. Willie was annoyed that you didn't choose his trap to defend against the Raiders. I mean, sort of understandable, but at the same time, I don't see how a log would really do a whole lot. Like, it's not home alone, so. A Sim was kidnapped. I, I actually didn't see him get kidnapped. Um, oh, I found all three of the collectibles this episode. That's cool. Alright. Is that everything? Let me unmute the game. Yes, it is. Back to the screen. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, well, that was the end of episode two. Siege wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I will say, with this being the first time that we really get, like, the three-dimensional... It's not quite first-person shooter type stuff. I guess third-person shooter would be closer. In one of these games, this is the first season that we're really getting a lot of that. There's been a couple of other moments in earlier seasons where, like, here, you're looking down the iron sights. But this one, for some reason, it, the mouse feels so incredibly slow. And, like, I had it cranked pretty high, and I keep my mouse DPI fairly high anyways. It just feels so sluggish when I'm trying to aim. That's kind of annoying, because other points, like if I'm just looking around, looking for stuff to interact with, it's fine. It's plenty fast, but for some reason, the aiming is just super slow. Also, I, I still don't understand, like, why did it... During the siege, there was a part where it finally let me actually shoot at the raiders. It had me aim for the knee. Like, were they making a Skyrim joke? You know, ah, I used to be a raider, then I took an arrow in the knee. Like, was it trying to make that joke? But even then, that joke doesn't really work, because that was the same guy that we dropped a duffel bag of bricks on. So... However, we captured Abel. Like, it, it sucks that we lost as many people as we did, but we captured Abel. And if you remember back to what happened in Season 2 with Kenny and a certain leader of a group that involved high-fiving that leader in the face with a crowbar repeatedly until there wasn't much of a face left. I'm just saying, Abel's gonna be in for a rough time. Like, I might have to have AJ removed from the room and probably Tennessee as well, because they're young enough they shouldn't be seeing this stuff. But it's gonna get into some, uh, some Liam Neeson taken levels of interrogation. Or, I guess, Joel looking for, uh, what was it, the Silver Lake Resort? Yeah, uh, episode 8 of the TV show. We're going to get into those levels of conversation with Abel. If the game allows me to. And he's going to tell us something. Or at least he's really going to wish he did. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be entertaining. But that'll be coming up in a future episode. So for this episode, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of these future episodes and our conversation with Abel, as well as any of the other videos that I post, well, again, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. That way, you know when I'm uploading. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.